Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about the custom BOP on ACC, which has kind of taken over and for better than for worse, I would say. Um, this is the race that I recorded the other day when I did the LFM around Nürburgring and they just seem to be just a plethora of different cars and they actually kept the racing pretty close, man. And um, me, I just want to sort of give my thoughts on what I think about the, the, the custom BOP, what to expect in the future as well. And whether it sort of opens up every single car to um, being competitive throughout a championship. Um, now, for me, what I would say is you still have to pick wisely with the um, with some of your your car choices because some of the cars literally were just well off. And even if you were to sort of give it an offset of minus forty kg, which is pretty much the best they can do to help a car that's really struggling. They can sort of minus 40 kg weight which is gonna make it about four tenths faster than what what its base lap time is and again if then they've given another car they if they've added say 40 kg to another car that's sort of a, a 80 kg swing which is about eight tenths but some cars were literally over a second slower so they may still struggle and what is not yet clear is what the effect will be on like tire wear and through race stints and stuff like that. I can confirm I use the Bentley for my AOR hot stint around Catalonia and it was pretty quick, man. I'm not going to lie. It was very consistent. Now, that's where I think there may be a bigger advantage for the cars that have lost a lot of the weight. For instance, their, their Bentley has 40 kg, minus 40 kg on most tracks because from what the numbers look like it was just slow it was literally over a second off pretty much everywhere so um the bentley pretty much has minus 40 kg for the whole aor calendar which i'll put on the screen now and um for me um i i don't think it's going to make it competitive everywhere i still feel like there's tracks where the bentley's going to struggle but equally we don't know what the tire wear is going to be like so it may be a thing where maybe you're three or four temps off the pace around a certain track but you're able to just keep lapping at a certain lap time for a whole stint and that's where it could bring you back into the game which is why um it, it may be worth the, the risk i still do feel like the newer cars are going to be at the front of the grid no matter what because they are so much faster and a lot of it to me um a lot of it is in the the handling like when when i use the bentley um it feels it feels kind of just still feels lethargic it doesn't feel innately fast right but the lap times i'm able to achieve around catalonia are, are pretty good but it doesn't feel like really nice like how it used to feel it doesn't feel nice and agile and you can just throw the car about it still feels a bit heavy i'm not sure whether it's like like the thought like the way the force feedback is delivered through the wheel it just doesn't feel that pleasant to drive but it, you're able to push lap times out of it. Now, when you jump, even when I, I jumped in a Ferrari 296, which had, I'm not sure how much um, extra uh, weight it had, maybe like plus 28 or plus 36 kg around Catalonia. And it still felt much nicer to drive, although I was pretty much just about matching the Bentley's time. So, you know, you might have to take a little bit of pain with the... Um, with the car you're choosing to drive in terms of how it feels compared to the lap times but you know at least it gives you a chance at using something different from what you may want to use even in this race i believe I believe even fox was able to use the, the 488 now i've seen a couple of races with the 488 and it, it does definitely look um definitely does look fast i'm not sure whether it's a good idea to make the 488 more competitive than the 296 i still believe Maybe the, the newer car should have maybe a temp for or two advantage on, on the old car. Um, and that's only because, you know, the 296 is an, is an update, an upgrade to the 488. Other cars like the Bentley, they don't have an, you know, they don't have a, an upgrade. You know, the 2018 Bentley is the upgrade. So, you know, people have done as much as they can to bring it into line with the other cars, even though it's very hard because... From the chart that I looked at, which AOR's actually taken down because I believe they've added more cars to the 
the BOP roster. They've added more custom BOP to more cars. Um, but they did, did that with a caveat that even with the custom BOP, if you pick some of the older cars, you're, there's still going to be a deficit in pace because they can only, only minus the KG by maximum 40. So, you know, there's, there's literally is they can't go any lower than that. You know, they can't take take off any more weight than that. If, if it was, I reckon if you could go 80 kg in either direction, we could probably get the perfect BOP because some of the cars are literally well, well too slow. And um, that's that's what makes the, the car choice, the car window so tiny before they made this custom BOP change. But um, again, what I would say is the cars that have a newer version, like the Porsche, or, or the uh, Lambo, the Ferrari. I don't believe they should make the older cars as fast as the newer cars. I still believe the newer cars should have a, a temp, two temps um, of an advantage because it's, it just keeps a little bit of the realism as well. But um, other than that, say it's, it's pretty good, man. Like in this race, there just seemed to be, everyone seemed to be nose to tail from, you know, from first place all the way back to, you know, 20th. And um, it, it was definitely a fun race, man. It was definitely fun. I could see where my car's advantage was. I was actually in the Aston for this race. I could see where the Aston was quick. I believe at Nürburgring, the Aston has um, a decent BOP as well. So I, I could see where my car was quick and my lap times were only getting quicker. No matter how many laps I did, my lap times were only getting quicker. I wasn't really suffering with tire wear. And I could see some of the guys that were driving at the Audi Towards the, towards the end of the 25 minute race, they were starting to slow down a bit, you know, a bit of tire wear and stuff like that. I was getting quicker, you know, I was doing my fastest laps right at the end of the race. Um, and that, that may be a, a bigger thing. I feel like it'll be a bigger issue um, in hour long stints where you're driving for an hour. In an hour long stints, I believe you will start to see, you know, even if a car's slower, it may start coming back at some of the other cars towards the end of a stint. Half an hour stints like what we're going to have for AOR. I don't believe you're going to see um, too many negatives of driving a car that's got a lot of BOP or, or a lot of weight added to it, especially if it's just innately faster. I still believe you're going to have that pace advantage. I still believe your tyres will hold on for long enough to where you probably won't lose too much to the guys who have maybe a, a, a worse um, a worse base performance, but I've got minus KG, which is going to help you on tire wear. So we will see how it goes. I believe some of the better races in AOR are probably going to be the 90 minute races where, you know, the guys that are going to have better tire wear may be able to make up that difference. But um, for me, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Something that, you know, the community shouldn't, should not have had to do this, man. They shouldn't have had to do this because let's be honest, if, if I was to show you guys the, the table and, you know, where some of the cars were in comparison to the fastest cars in the game. It was actually ridiculous that some cars were over a second slower. The Bentley at the majority of tracks was a second plus slower than the fastest times of the other cars. And how can, I know that the Bentley doesn't compete anymore, but how can the difference be that big, man? For me personally, um, no, no car should be more than half a second off. Even if it's an older car, and I'm talking only older is in terms of, you know, the Bentley is a car from 2018, but it's the, the last car of its, you know, generation. It's not like I'm talking about the 2015 Bentley. I'm talking about the 2018 Bentley. I expect that car to be within half a second, man. It shouldn't be 1.4 seconds at tracks, 1.3 seconds, because on this game, there's no amount of BOP that can change the fact that that car is simply not competitive. And I tried, I also tried the Bentley around um, Kota, and this is even with minus 40 kg. Kota is the first race of the season at AOR, and it's, it's, I can tell you now, it's not going to be competitive on that track. It's nowhere near the pace. You have to think as well, with Kota being a track that is one of the, one of the longer tracks on the calendar, it's a two minute lap, so, you know, you're losing time everywhere. You know, even, even with minus 40. You know, some of the other cars are still, even with, you know, with, with 
extra weight, they're still so much quicker than the bent. And basically, you can only get a maximum eight tenth swing maximum. So let's say the best car around Kota has got plus 40 kg and the worst car has got minus 40 kg. That's that's basically eight tenths, right? So, you know, if a car is 1.4 seconds slower, that's still six tenths a lap off the pace. That's still not close. OK, and that's just someone being able to drive that car to its absolute maximum. If you can't get that absolute maximum out of the car, your, your likelihood is you're going to be still eight tenths off, nine tenths off um, someone who's very good in, in one of the other cars. So you have to bear that in mind. Also, when you're choosing your car, you're going to have to bear that in mind. You're still going to have deficiencies in the BOP. Nothing can be perfect. It's just better than it, it was before. Um, people are going to have to still get used to that. I do hope there is sort of a, a, a bigger effect on tire wear um otherwise you know it still doesn't make that much sense in choosing a car like the bentley which i've actually chosen because i'm just that guy <laughs> cars like the aston now i believe are definitely up there i believe if you're if you're driving an aston or something like that i believe you're gonna have chances to you know chances to move up the grid chances to battle for wins and stuff like that depending on the track as well but certain tracks um the bop looks pretty decent for the aston when i tried it around nurburgring it felt very fast and very consistent um i will say when i tried the bentley around nurburgring i felt like i had to work much harder to get a a decent lap time okay when i jumped in the in the aston it was pretty i, I believe i got to the mid 53s and like seven or eight laps it wasn't hard at all whereas in the bentley i was absolutely grinding it just to get it to do like a 53 8 and it was a it was a struggle and don't get me wrong on my um on my relatives i could have probably got a 53 5 in the um bentley but that was almost like me just nailing a lap um but you know i do believe it can go quicker than that you're just gonna have to work extensively hard on the setup and that's something I didn't have to do with the Aston. And that's what I mean by how E.T. the time comes. Now, someone who's maybe a top esports driver, they could probably get the Bentley into the 52s. I don't doubt that. I just think to do that, you're going to have to work super hard on your setup, man. You're going to have to be grinding it. Whereas I think with other cars, the time comes a little bit easier. And that's that's what sort of makes picking cars. Um, that's why I, in the past, you'll see a lot of people driving one particular car because... If a lap time comes easy to a car, it's less work. And if it's less work, that's what people will choose, man. That's what people have always done. Um, but, you know, I, I always do feel like any change that's here to make things more competitive is a good change. I believe what AOR, LFM have done definitely, definitely helps the game massively. Massively, because even in this race, there was, you know, more different cars than what i was expecting to see you know, normally you would just see like a bunch of mclaren bunch of audis you know because they're fast right here and, and that was it but you can see people are just picking what they want people are picking different cars you know different outcomes and it was fun man like i had fun during the race um pretty much nose to tell with so many different people and it, it was it was cool we're gonna see what happens in the upcoming um aor season i'm actually doing actually doing pretty well in the time trial at the moment i think i think i'm in the top 10 and i did obviously i did one of my hot stints in the bentley which is you know a car that was nowhere near but because my lap times were almost all three of my lap times were almost identical if you guys are new to how you qualify for aor how you signed up you have to complete a hot stint of three consecutive laps all in a row with no mistakes and you know they add your time up together to see what your time is over three laps you have to do that at two different circuits one of those circuits was Nürburgring the other circuit was um at Barcelona I completed my Barcelona hot stint in the Bentley and literally almost all of my laps were almost identical so because I didn't have any drop off my 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 actual overall Barcelona time was pretty good I think it's maybe maybe the fifth or sixth best i think is my nurburgring time that lets me down a little bit 
But um, even that, I think I completed with the Aston and that was pretty good. But I had one lap that was about two tenths off of the other two laps, which is why I think I've dropped down to like ninth, eighth or ninth place in the hot stint at the moment. But um, the Bentley was definitely very consistent. And that's what's given me hope in the season that maybe just with a, with a lighter car, the tire wear is just going to be non-existent. The Bentley used to be pretty good on tire wear anyway. Um, maybe the tire wear will be non-existent. Maybe the same will be the same for the other guys who are driving a car that has less weight because of the BOP. And, you know, you're going to be able to just push for the whole entire race. That's, I guess, what we're looking for. Um, again, does will, will things be affected by, like, weather conditions? If it's extremely hot, um... And, and the tyres are wearing. If you're with a lighter car, you're not going to be using up the tyres as much. Will that have an effect? So many different questions to be answered over the season. But I do know that if, for instance, if they feel like the BOP is having too much of an effect and giving one car or a different car too much of an advantage, they are open to, you know, switching things up and changing their BOP during the season as well. So it's not something that is going to be static and won't change the matter if people have an advantage or not it's going to be an ever-changing thing it's going to make sure there's a lot of evolution and stuff like that and i feel like it's been great for the game man and it's just crazy that kuno's never never you know never sought to actually fix the problems of the bop that we've had for a substantial amount of time and i've talked about it in the past where we will have a certain car that has an insane bop and it just stays like that for like a year that how can you know how can you just allow something to allow a car to be so much faster than anything else for that period of time because it just it literally ruins the racing especially if you're watching like esports as well and a lot of those esports teams they're kind of they're stuck right because some of them will be stuck signed to a particular organization like they might be stuck in a, in a mercedes and they can't use anything else or if you're if you're a BS competition, you're stuck in a BMW. You can't race anything else, and then that car is given an absolutely terrible BOP. But you have to use it, and there's nothing you can do. You know, so it's like things like that. I think should be averted. Now, I believe there's a few championships using this BOP. Um, so for for the most part, from what I saw. Um, there's going to be a lot of championships using this BOP. It's already in LFM. It's already in AOR. Um, I watched a, I watched a race. I'm not sure what competition it was, but I watched another race the other day that had a lot of the esports guys like Jardy. I think it was a driver swap um, that had the custom BOP as well. So hopefully, you know, I'm not sure if it uh, is the custom BOP down downloadable. I think it might be. I'm not too sure, but I think it might be. So I think a lot of the community is going to be using this custom BOP. Um, it'll be nice if, you know, if Kuno's opened it up even more. Let's say you could put up to like a hundred kg ballast and up to minus a hundred. I think if they could do that, if they could go that far, I think they can probably get this game just about perfectly balanced, man. Because that's going to be, you're going to be able to add up to a second, a lap, or or you know, take away a second a lap then if you have that sort of disparity then you can actually get the BOP perfect because even if a car is 1.2 1.3 seconds slower you could amend that and you could get you can get that perfect you know but um with with only minus 40 and plus 40 kg you can't quite get it perfect you could only get a car into maybe a, a six tenth window at its worst you know so um it is what it is though man like i personally feel like it's gonna make the season so much better we might see a, a load of different cars on the on the on the grid um i'm definitely i'm gonna stick with my bentley i was thinking should i go with the aston because i just thought you know races where it's wet and stuff the bentley is still gonna be the bentley that extra weight in the wet for the for the other guys is not gonna do anything to slow them down okay so when we're talking about like wet weather, wet weather, that's not going to be an issue. Extra weight in wet weather is not going to be an issue. So we're going to be looking at, you know, the Bentley's true performance in, in wet weather races where, you know, having minus 40 kg is not really going to be that much of a help. Um, it's the, the wet is definitely, definitely going to level the playing field somewhat and 
if that's the case, then you can expect to be, you know, a second off the pace in the rain. And that's that's my only, you know, that's the only thing that's troubling me in my mind. I'm thinking, should I, should I choose the Bentley or should I just go in the Aston because I feel like it's going to be a lot closer um, in terms of pace around most tracks. The Bentley is going to be some hard, hard work, but I might be the only person on the grid in the Bentley. And, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those ones, guys. What, what do you think? Would you go with something that you know is going to at least be able to keep up around some of the tracks? Would you take the risk on the Bentley? Because the, the whole calendar, apart from one track, I believe, the Bentley has minus 40 kg. Now, I might just pick the Bentley just for the um, just for the science, just to learn and, and, you know, gain more information for even the guys who are holding this championship whether 40 kg is enough and whether it does open up the races in terms of tire wear. i might be the guinea pig guys what do you reckon i might just do it man why not um you know it's not as if i'm planning to win the championship anyway so i might just take the bentley anyway and just see what happens man but guys if you do like the video um definitely leave a comment down below cryptic tng like and subscribe i will try and leave um I'm not sure because I'm sure AOR took it off their website because they added more cars. So I don't actually have the contents table for the actual um, BOP. But um, if I do, if I if they do bring out another one, I will leave it in the description so you guys can actually see um, what they've done in terms of what cars have got added weight and what cars have had weight taken away and what tracks and all that good stuff. All right, but anyway, guys, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first, and peace.